What's going on YouTube, John here, back again with another video. This time I'm gonna be bringing you a video that was actually very highly requested from a lot of people. Uh, if you missed it a couple videos ago, I did do 10 new legend cards that we need in MLB The Show 20. One, sorry, and a lot of people said, do a part two. So I said, I'm gonna do a part two. Now, before I begin, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Let me know down in the comment section some more things you want to see or some more like team builds, anything. Uh, before I begin, also one last thing, I'm going to move my camera. Uh, I want to give all credits right here to Go Cubs Go 22 and the real Josh S9 for the cards and also possibly Mammoth 85. Uh, I found all these cards from them and they let me use them. So, let's get into the first couple cards. I need to move my camera. Okay, there we go. So, first card. I think this is going to be the cover boy, actually. 99 Roberto Clemente. Now, this card would be highly requested. If you've seen my recent TikToks, I think I have done a Clemente video. I know I've done a Bonds, I've done a Prince Fielder, I've done a Hank Aaron, A-Rod. I think Clemente is an extremely, extremely high chance to be the cover artist for MLB The Show 21, especially if they decide to go the route of the uh, NBA 2K, that franchise, which is a Legend Edition and a Standard Edition. So the Legend Edition might have Clemente on it, and then the Standard Edition will probably have Tatis on it, as I, I'm pretty sure Tatis is going to be the cover boy. But Clemente card, 125, 125, everything, well, uh, not everything, sorry, on both sides for contact, 79 and 88 in terms of power, 109, 102 vision, uh, 99 fielding, 99 arm, 99 arm accuracy, 99 reaction, and 74 speed, he can play all outfield positions. 99 everything defensively. I think that is extremely accurate, and I think this is also well deserved. Uh, I think if he is the cover boy, I think this card will probably be a live series collection award. But I do think that the, in order to balance this card out with that max defensiveness, max contact, I think the power had to be lower to 79 88. Now, I do think that they could bump it up. If it's not a live series collection award, if it's an inning program, if it's like in the best inning program, like we know the fifth inning was probably the best inning program. That one was with three new legends with Rivera, with uh, Jim, no, Rivera, Ortiz, and Larry Walker. If there's another inning like this, I expect Clemente to be in there. Uh, that power, if they could bump that 79 up to an 80 to make the perfect, perfect power threshold better then I definitely think that would be a lot more suited for a lot of people. But I would not be upset at this card at all. I, this card would be a, a staple on my team. He would probably be there for an extremely long amount of time until someone, either I got tired of the swing, either I got tired of the card, or the, or um, what you call it, like a card with better power came out. This looks very similar to the 99 Willie Mays this year. I do use the 99 Mays. Uh, he has 98 fielding. But he has faster speed and he's better with the power, but he has less contact and stuff like that. So this Clemente card would definitely be a W if it dropped. Second, we have 99 Albert Bell. Now, I know a lot of people don't know about Albert Bell. A lot of the younger generation doesn't know about Albert Bell, but he played for Cleveland. Uh, he was actually, he was okay. I think this card definitely overdoes his attributes a little bit. But this was his probably best year. This was his silver slugger year. Uh, he was 27. He's a 99 overall, all outfield positions, like I said. But the thing that separates him from Clemente is that he has higher power, but his defense is also terrible. He's got 125 both sides on contact, 125 power versus right. Great. And then he's got the drop off 110 power versus left. Also fine with that. But then he's got the 74 fielding, 70. Uh, 73 arm 79 reaction and 69 nice speed um I, I wouldn't use this card i think it would be worth the debut maybe even a bench bat but he his fielding just doesn't cut it for me personally um i, I can't i know you guys are thinking like don't you start soto in the outfield i do but soto's bat is much better than this i think his swing is going to be better than albert bell's but i i just don't really like that he's inversed like this and uh, his feelings just so bad, but definitely a bench bat choice if you were to come in the game. 
go now to the third person, Jason Dominguez. Oh, yes, sir. I really want this card in MLB 20. He is a 17-year-old prospect. That's probably why, because they don't have his rights to be in the game. But if this card dropped, I would go absolutely ballistic. His swing, absolutely insane. He is an extreme talent. He's one of the top prospects in the game. He has 106, 99 contact, 125, 109 power with 74 uh, discipline, 81 vision, 95 fielding, 90, 81 in the arm category with 94 speed. I see this card very, very good. Uh, he's got that diamond defense, of course. He'll maintain 90 plus defense in all areas of the outfield. 125 power versus left, so he is, he's a switch hitter. So this just makes that card all the more better. Versus left, you see experience is a little bit of a drop off with the contact and the power, but he's still extremely good, like I said. If this card came out, I would probably use him for a little bit, but not for an extreme amount of time, only because there's gonna be a lot better outfield options to go to, and I just wouldn't like that 99 contact in my outfield for more than a month or two probably, but his swing might just get him pretty far on my squad. Next up, we got 98 overall Prince Fielder, first base, no secondary, obviously, because he can't play anywhere else. He's got Frank Thomas-like defense. He has 50 fielding at first base, 55 arms, 69, nice accuracy, 34 speed. He's got 105, 85 on the contact, 125, 109 on the power, with 80, dis 80 vision, sorry, and 105 discipline. 125 just I can't even talk but anyway um I see this card as being a running backpack I don't think this card would be an inning program unless it's a very early inning program like the third inning but this card I used his swing uh I actually have a TikTok coming out today with Prince Fielder in his debut uh his swing is really good I like that left-handed open stance swing it's like it's similar to Yasmani Grandal, I think, his swing. It's not open, but it's not closed. He's able to get to every pitch. He can stretch his bat out and hit it down the line in the opposite way. Or he can pull it for a home run 450 feet to right field. This card will be extremely good, but like I said, bench bat, obviously. 105-125 um, versus righties, but then the drop-off versus lefties is not that good. This card on Hall of Fame and All-Star would be extremely good, but on Legend, he might dip off a little bit when he goes to uh, face lefties. Then that feeling is just horrendous. I, I can't even with that feeling. Next up, we got 99 Sandy Koufax. Let me move my camera over here so you can see the pitches. He has 125 stamina. I think he had, that, that, that's the most of the game. The only guys with 125 stamina I would give to are probably like Hal Newhauser. Uh, Bob Gibson, Koufax, Fergie Jenkins, but he's got 125 stamina, like I said, 120, 114 on the hits and Ks per 9, 101 walks per 9, 100, 100, 100, I can't even talk, home runs per 9, with a 4 seam, I think that 4 seam will have outlier 1, which will give it to 102, he's got a 12 6, a change up, a fork ball, and a sinker, I think this card is going to be very similar to the 99 Lefty Grove, uh, he, had, he Lefty Grove also has outlier one on his four seam, but he has a changeup and a fork ball. He, Lefty Grove does not have a sinker. Lefty Grove, let me see if I can, if I memorized it. Lefty Grove has four seam with outlier, slider, changeup, fork ball, and something else, but it doesn't matter. Um, I, I don't really like, I wouldn't, I mean his motion would be pretty good. I think Kofax's motion might be deceptive. I think that curveball dropping to 10, uh, that curveball dropping to 75 miles an hour with the four seam at 102, I think that's a good differential and the sinker adds a bonus. But I wish they give him a slider instead of a changeup. Make that, because I just don't like it when they give two guys a fourth ball and a changeup. That just doesn't make much sense to me. The pitches are essentially the same. Even if you want to argue the pity, the petty argument and say that they're extremely similar, they're not extremely similar. One has dropped, one doesn't. In that will be the show, it's the same thing. It, it's the same. Splitters, ch changeups, and fork balls are the same. In that will be the show. Please don't give two on a card. Give them a slider. This card is going to be insane. No one's going to have seen him since it's a new legend. His motion, his pitch is deceptive. This card might be on your rotation in the end game, especially since he's a lefty. Next up, we have the Capitan, 99 David Wright, third base, no secondary. Let me move my camera back on up so we can see some uh, speed on the card. 
This is an awards card, another silver slugger. He's got 125, 114 with the contact, 88, 122 with the power, 91 fielding, 88, 95 arm, which is important at third base, especially since he can't play anywhere else, 87 speed, 98 steel. Now, I think that speed might be a little, uh, like a little overdone. Uh, I don't know how fast he was in this year. These are just the cards that I got. I don't really know. He was 24, so he might have been fast. And I can tell since that power is a little low versus righties. But uh, I think this is another bench bat card. 114, 122 versus lefties. Excellent bench bat attributes, especially with his swing. Insanely really good. I even think I might consider him having uh, being a double switch opportunity if he wants to hit versus a lefty. Like, say, I don't know, Roldis Chapman is pitching in the ninth inning. I mean, in the seventh inning, and then David Wright hits, and then you double switch him with the third baseman to put him over at uh, third base for two innings. That's completely fine. I definitely think that's an option. First right, he's 88 power. Not terrible, but not admirable either. I think he's definitely worth a shot. His swing is really good. I'll, I'll give him a shot if he comes out. Next up, 97, Alfonso Soriano. That contact is low at 90, 90, 90, 99. 112, 112 on the power, 69, nice, on the vision, 67 discipline, 86 clutch, 70 fielding, 76, 79 arm, 92 fielding, 97 steel. I, the thing I don't really like about this card, he's high contact, he's very similar to the, to the 99 finest Akuna from this year, he, the contact's low but the power's pretty high, uh, fielding is bad, speed is bad, this is, this is a bench bat for sure. Um, it doesn't matter which side, he plays left field, right field, and second base. Second base is always a position where you need some defensive help because you don't want horns to be there. So he would be a nice speed option versus left, uh, power versus lefties, contact versus lefties, defense at second base. You name it, he'll be good there. This is not a God Squad card at all, but it is a nice, you know, theme card, maybe an event award. 99 Troy Gloss. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but this is a highly requested card once again from a lot of Angels fans. He plays third base and uh, first base with a secondary, 92, 125 contact, 102, 125 power, 63 vision, 125 discipline, 94 fielding, 95 arm, 83 arm accuracy with 95 reaction, 70 speed. I think this card would also be a good bench bat, just like David Wright, I think this is a good left-handed pitching bench bat, he's maxed out over there, his swing is good, he plays third base, you can double switch him in, especially you can switch him over to first base, that makes this card really admirable, I wouldn't recommend starting him if he came out just because of that stuff versus righties, bench bat though, he's an, he can be a staple, he's maxed out, if his swing is good, he'd probably be on the bench all year because he's got maxed out attributes just like that. So that's what we like to see. Next up, a guy no one has heard of. I, I was surprised when I heard that not a lot of people have heard of Al Simmons. He played for the Athletics and I think the Phillies. And um, he played outfield. He played. He had 125 contact both sides. 93 power versus right, 125 power versus left, 119 vision, 85 fielding, 90 arm, 9, 87 arm accuracy, 60 fielding, all outfield positions like I said. This is another lefty bench bat, you could consider starting him because that 93 power versus right is actually not terrible, contact on both sides is maxed out including the power versus lefties. I would just like to see this card, He his swing I think is one of those old timey closed up swings like Jimmy Fox and Hannes Wagner uh, so he can hit anything he can stretch his bat out like I said down the line he can pull a home run he can hit it to center field he's a very very good card option I don't think they would do this only because he's not very known by a lot of people but if he did come out for like an event award late in the year this would probably be much appreciated and this is our last one this is 99 Joe DiMaggio one of the greatest hitters to ever live, he's got 125 both sides for contact, 125 power versus lefties, 105 power versus right, he's got 89 fielding, 87, 83 arm, 83 speed, 14 steel. Now Willie Mays has 94 speed and 6 steel, I find that pretty similar to this one. Um, this card would be absolutely insane, like I said, 105 power versus lefties, 
it's, it looks small next to the 125s on the contact and the power reverse left and the vision, but it's still extremely high. Um, I think Willie Mays has 105 power. This car can play the outfield exceptionally, 89 fielding, uh, and that arm is pretty good as well. His swing is very good. Everything about this card would just be absolutely insane. If we got this card, this would be on my team in an instant. World Series award, collection award, this card would be on the squad. Now, I'm pretty sure that was the last one. Yes, it was. Now, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Let me know. Give me, if we get, if we get to 20 likes, we'll do a part three. If we get to 10, actually, 10, we'll do a part three. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Thanks for watching again. I can't even know what I'm saying anymore. Peace.